Picturesque and prosperous, this alpine country in the heart of Europe has almost 8 million people known for their love of chocolate almost as much as their love of capitalism. Peaceful Switzerland hasn't fought a war in almost two centuries, but it was a real battle here reforming health care. It was controversial, it is still controversial. The law finally approved in a 1994 national referendum guaranteed health care for everyone by requiring everyone to have insurance. It amounted to a law recognizing health care as a human right, says former Swiss president Ruth Dreyfus. Everybody has really the, the right to receive uh, the medical care they need from birth to the death. They choose their own doctors and their own insurance company, and the whole country's covered. True to its national reputation, Switzerland devised a health care system that's been praised as efficient and neutral. Basic insurance is the same price for everyone. Also true to the Swiss reputation, it's turned out to be expensive. Mandatory insurance for an adult costs almost $4,000 a year. Deductibles and co-payments can add another thousand to that. There's no Medicare or Medicaid. The government pays a cash subsidy to anyone who can't afford the basic policy. No one goes broke from getting sick, but health care's cost to the economy here is higher than anywhere except the U.S. What you built here was a Rolex, mm -hmm. and, and really perhaps you should have made a Timex. It is a Rolex, uh, you're right. It should not just look like a Rolex, but also work like a Rolex. It does, and the Swiss love it, except once a year when premium prices go up. Insurance companies, which aren't allowed to make a profit from selling basic coverage and can't limit patient choice, complain their hands are tied. Do you think that patients have too much choice now? They have a lot of choice. Too much? I think perhaps yes. Given an aging population and high-tech medicine, some say costs are bound to rise 3 or 4 percent a year. Healthcare reform here has been more expensive than reformers predicted. But the Swiss say they didn't expect a perfect system overnight. Such a system needs, I, I would say, forever fine-tuning. To keep things running smoothly, it's accepted here. That's part of the process. Richard Roth, CBS News, Switzerland.